Hello, my friends. Today I invite you to a virtual walk through a street that I very fond of. I like Ramon y Cajal Street because it starts in Berlin Park. In 1990, these three blocks that were part of Berlin Wall were installed in this pond. The Guadalupe Parish is in front of the Berlin Park. It's a sample of Mexican architecture in Madrid. Its dome is a great proof of symbiosis between architecture and engineering. This is the same carousel that I used to come with my son. It's still the same as it was then. Also, the boy is growing up and no longer fits in the strollers. The view from Ramon y Cajal Street to the school of Santa Marca Foundation is spectacular. It was built by order of the Marquis of Santa Marca to be a school asylum for homeless children. As you can see, its style and window frames are neo-Gothic. The even numbers of Ramon y Cajal Street line the small houses of the Garden City Colony, built in 1919 for members of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party. The old houses of 970 or 1,300 square feet have been bought and adapted to modern times by lucky owners who wanted to combine the peace of village life without leaving the big city. Don Santiago Ramón y Cajal was the most prestigious representative of Spanish science. His research on the configuration of nervous issues resulted in astonishing discoveries. Considering the underdevelopment of Spain at the beginning of the 20th century, prestigious universities such as Worcester, Lovain, Christian de la War and Cambridge, which named him Dr. Honoris Causa invited him as a lecturer. Apart from Spain, numerous scientific institutions in Germany, France, Italy, Belgium, United Kingdom, United States had him as a member. Ramon e Cajal became the most awarded scientist of the second decade of the 20th century. He was a remarkable scientist and person. Dear friends, I hope you like the virtual stroll in Ramon y Cajal Street. But tell me please only one thing. Are you ready to walk with us through the streets of Madrid? See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.